Good morning, Year 5, and welcome back. It is Friday, Day 5 of Week 16 of our Home Learning and our last session on Shape, Space and Measure. Here are your answers from yesterday. Now, I haven't done anything for number 7 yet because I'm going to talk through that one. So what I asked you to do, hopefully, uh, it's a bit difficult to try to explain, but what I wanted you to do was come up with a triangle. So I've got a green triangle here. Uh, tear off each of the corners. So I'm actually going to, so you can see it a bit more clearly, I'm going to call my corners A, B and C. And then I'm going to just carefully tear them off. Oops. Carefully tear them off. A, B and C. And then I've got to place them down with the sides touching and the vertices all together. So the vertices are the little bits that are in the very corner, aren't they? So I'm just going to place these down. Hopefully, what you'll see is all the angles of that triangle line up on a straight line. So the angles in the triangle are equal to 180 degrees. Now, just like anything with maths, doing it once isn't enough to prove it. So I've got another one here. So that's my green triangle. I'm going to do um, an orange one now. So I'm going to call these oops, D, E and F. I'm going to do the same thing. Carefully tear off the corners and then I'm going to put them together with their sides touching and their vertices. There you go, just to prove that it does work with another one. And then different type of triangle again. In maths, if you can find three proofs, um, you've normally got it. And these are quite random. I haven't you know, thought really thought about the types of triangles I'm doing. G. H and I. Okay, let's put these together. I'm going to do it slightly differently this time. So it's a vertical line. Of course, it doesn't matter. A straight line is still a straight line, whether it's vertical, horizontal, or somewhere in between. Okay, so hopefully that's proved to you then that the angles in a triangle all add up to 180 degrees. So, of course, an equilateral triangle, like this one that we had in question two, will all have all angles of 60 degrees and um, there's lots of little things you can work out from knowing one of the angles in a triangle. Okay, so that was today's, that was yesterday's task. Here is your fluent in five for today. There we go. And here are your answers. As it's Friday and it's been a very, very long uh, few weeks, few months of home learning. Well done if you've managed to stick with it and do every video. Um, we'll finish with something a little bit more fun. So, there are shapes everywhere. Now, there are lots of um, man-made shapes everywhere. If you look in your cupboard at home, you'll probably find lots of um, cuboids and uh, pyramids and prisms. But we're looking today at shape in nature and art. So I've put some examples that I found of shape in nature. Um, there's actually something when you're a bit older, you might learn about a golden, the golden ratio, which is fascinating about shape, uh, shape in art. But for, uh, sorry, shape in nature. But for now, here are some pictures that I've found that show different shapes in nature. And I'm challenging you to try to find me something maybe in your garden or if you're on for a daily walk. You could find something for me and if you can take a photo and upload it to the blog if you can't you you're not you've not got outside or you haven't got a camera then you could do this activity which is these are two pieces of art by um vasily kandinsky he's a famous artist um and as you can see shape is quite important to his art so there's two examples so you could first of all hunt for the shapes within the art but then maybe come up with your own version of a Kandinsky style picture. That's my sort of art, straight lines <laughs> and semicircles and circles. Um, and if you do, of course, make your own one, I'd love to see it on the blog. Right, that brings us to the end of another week. Have a fantastic weekend.